Keepers have a reputation for being oddballs, but while some may stand out for their uniqueness, a select few are remembered for their greatness. That's why we're breaking down the greatest goalies to ever play in the NHL today on The Lineup. Welcome to The Lineup, the game show. For the people who failed every class but Jim, I'm your host, Adam Reed. Let's see what guests we have lined up. Team Blue, welcome to the show, Corey Collard. Except for making exceptional hot pepper sauce, you once <laughs> DJed a private party where Gary Sinise was fronting the band. What's up with that? It was a rap party for a uh, movie they were shooting in uh, Montreal, and I happened to know uh, the manager of the bar. He asked me to come in. I DJed the party. Gary Sinise was on stage. It was a lot of fun. Look, look at you, and you're also an excellent sports commentator. Thanks for taking the time. Thank you. To your right, Matt Campbell, you're one of the hosts at Watch Mojo. Uh, before yes. scoring that job, you were working in retail where you actually got to meet one of your hockey heroes. Who was that? That would be uh, the best goalie in the world, Carey Price. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Interesting story. Uh, I was actually a little shy when it happened. He was outside the window, and I saw him, and I was like, Looked over to my coworker, oh my God, that's Carrie Price. She's like, go talk to him, I'm too nervous. So she ran outside the store and actually like tapped him on the shoulder. Carrie Price, hi, nice to meet you. This guy's a big fan. And uh, that's the strange way I, uh you know, met Carey Price. Nice. Yeah. You got a signature? You get an autograph out of that? No, I didn't <sighs> want to push my luck. I was also at work, so I was like, oh, the boss is going to see Mike get mad. So, you, <laughs> you know. Guys, you guys make up Team Blue. You'll be facing off against Team Red. Ivan Vukov, you're an actor. You love playing hockey. And Patrick yeah. Wall once lent you 10 cents. Yeah. What's all that about? I don't know what the interest is now, but yeah, when I was a kid, um, I was at a dépanneur. I was buying hockey cards. Obviously, hoping he was in one of them, but... Uh, I didn't have enough money, I didn't have enough change in no my pen. No way, Patrick Wall yeah. let you the money to buy the cards? Yeah, like he just threw down like a quarter, I guess it was, from behind me and I looked up and I was like, oh my God. Okay, and don't I, lie, did he throw the money and kind of give you a wink <laughs> as if to say Patrick Wall? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and he plugged in <laughs> he his did two, it. Ah, there it is. <laughs> Thanks for taking the time. To your right, Simon Salikas, you are an exceptional radio personality. Uh, you're one of the first guys that gave me my break in this business. Fast forward a couple years, you're doing my show. How hey, does that make right, you feel? Man. It's great, feels great. Good, welcome to the show, gentlemen. Let's get started. Over the next three periods, our two teams are going to engage in a battle of knowledge and strategy on their way to creating their list of the top 10 greatest goalies. The hockey pros at Watch Mojo have selected 20 players who they feel are most likely to make this list. Gentlemen, this is your draft pool. You'll find goalies who played at the very start of the NHL, like George Vezina, and contemporary keepers like Carey Price. Just for fun, we're gonna hide the names of two picks. Those are our wild cards. You can pick those at any time. We've also selected a player who we feel is most likely to be at the top of the list, and that is our MVP. He's off the table for now. Team Blue, you guys won the coin toss, the gentleman's coin toss. You guys get to go pick first. Who will it be? Martin Brodeur. Marty Brodeur, well done. The all-time season, regular season win as a goalie. Great pick on that. Team Red? I, th I mean, for us, I think it's pretty obvious, so, so thank you. Uh, we're going to take <laughs> Dominic Hasek. You already trash-talking there, Ivan Vuko? Uh, I mean, uh, they, they made it too easy. Dominic Hasek, six Vezina trophies, two Hart trophies, and the highest career save percentage of all time, 0.9223. Team Blue. What do you he, think? I think he went a little bit more old school. Glenn Hall. 502 straight ga uh, consecutive games. That Would you go Glenn Hall over Ken Dryden? Uh, you know what, being half time, let's go Ken Dryden. Ken Dryden. Ken Dryden, in the 397 regular season games Dryden played in, he only lost 57 times. Backstop the Habs to six Stanley Cups, earned five Vezina trophies. Uh, what an incredible goaltender he was. Team Red. Top that one. Go yeah, I think, uh, I think our, our, our debate is to kind of match their Ken Dryden and uh, the highest, uh, the, sorry, the lowest goals against average of all time, George Hainsworth. George Hainsworth, all right, going old school on that one, okay. Your final pick, Team Blue? I know, looking at the list, we could, I'd go Glenn Hall now. Glenn Hall, let's do it. Glenn Hall. Glenn Hall. Glenn Hall. All right, and your last pick, Team Red? We'll take a wild card. A wild card? Yeah. Simon Salikas is already playing in. Wild card one or wild card two, Team Red? Let's go with uh, wild card uh, two. Yeah. Wild card two. You guys regretting a little bit that you didn't go with the wild card? Did you forget the wild cards were up there? Don't be honest. They jumped the gun. They jumped the they gun jumped on the that gun? one, Adam. Yeah. Wild card two, Simon Salikas. Oh! You've earned yourself Henrik Lundqvist. I'm not happy he's with almost, that. He's, he's nice. almost top 10 in wins yeah, all yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, whatever. He's had at least 30 wins in every healthy season he's played in with the Rangers, but he is still looking for his first cup. Will he get it? No. No. All right. Kind of that's the not list, a good sign when you pick someone list, and you say, I'm never going to win a cup. <laughs> for, for this argument, the cups are a team game and yes. not just the go. That is true. So having said that, uh, let's take a look at the first three picks that you guys have. So Team Red, you've got Dominic Hasek, George Hainsworth, and Henrik Lundqvist. Uh, team Blue, you've got Marty Bordeur, Ken Dryden, and Glenn Hall. Team Red, uh, going old school there. What's up uh, with the George Hainsworth pick? 
Well, he's got one. He's got the lowest goals against average of all time. Uh, he was a pioneer in the game. He didn't wear a helmet, so right. uh, or a face mask, I should say. And because uh, no. that's how you can tell you're the greatest of all time is if you didn't wear a helmet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's, it's one of the factors. It's one of our factors. If he, yeah. if he chose to play the position, that means he's got. Were they the, even uh, allowed forward passes back then? Doesn't matter. He stopped <laughs> all the pucks. In. Well, it was either that or George Vezina, so we just went with the numbers, that's all. Both teams are off to a great start with three strong draft picks, but that was the easy part. It's time for the next round, game night. If our teams want the best possible players for their next seven draft picks, they will need to rely on their hockey knowledge because this game, this game night, is all about trivia. Every time a team answers a question correctly, they get to draft first. The first two questions are on a one-on-one -on -one trivia showdown. Whoever buzzes in first gets the answer. If they get it wrong, the other team can steal. If neither of them get it right, the person who buzzes in first wins the round and gets the pick. Corey, Ivan, step on up. All right, gentlemen, your question. Everyone loves a good hockey fight. When goalies get into the action, it goes to show you, you really can't have too much of a good thing. In February of 2007, which Senators goaltender earned the nickname Sugar Ray? At team Red? Ray Emery? That's correct. The question was, February 2007, which Senators goaltender earned the nickname Sugar Ray after he fought both Martin Biro and Andrew Peters in a single brawl? That's correct. He also got 22 minutes for that fight, and his teammates called him Sugar Ray ever since. We'll have you join your teammate. Thank you very much. Lucky. All right, let's pull it's up the draft right. pool. It's all right. You got lucky. Yeah. Team Red, you got a pick. Go ahead. Um, this, this is a tough call. I think we're going to try to match their Stanley Cups with Ken Dryden, the most ever by a goalie. Uh, and that would also have been done by Jacques Plante. Jacques Plante, all right. Team Blue, your pick. All right, so it's either the wild card. Okay. I think we gotta go wild card. <sighs> okay, let's do the wild card. Wild, wild card. card. Let's do it. Wild Living card. dangerously, I like that. Come on. Bernie Perron. Show me the Broad money. Broad Street Bullies, possibly the two greatest seasons by a goaltender, 73, 74, 74, 75, and he later mentored Ekstall and Pelle Lindbergh. Good pickup, guys. That might See, be a game changer right there. That was the wild card we were going that's for. That's what we were looking like, for. Yeah, yeah. We got screwed. You got the king, though, so yeah. I mean, that's pretty good. Pretty. Olympic, gold yeah. Olympic gold medal. Olympic gold medal. Simon, Matt, I'll have you join up at the podium. Come on up. Come on, Matt. All right, gentlemen, as you know, this is for a pick. Simon, you feel nervous? You good? I'm all right. You're I'm all right. You good? I'm all right. I can't get over the Lundquist thing. That's the problem. <laughs> it's okay. You have an opportunity. Don't worry. Since its release in 1977, Paul Newman's comedy Slapshot has become the most quoted hockey movie of all time. In 2015, which NHL goalie teamed up with a Pittsburgh sports reporter to recreate a scene from Slapshot? Mark Andre Fleury. Pittsburgh, right? That is correct. Yes. That's correct. That was done yes. to promote the exhibition game the Pens played in Johnstown, Pennsylvania as part of Kraft Hockeyville USA competition. Well done. Have Nailed you joined the Have you back? Yes. All right. Let's pull up the draft pool. Team Blue, your pick. All right. Now so we can go. Now you can take them. Go ahead. Carey Price. Let's do it. Wow. Carey Price. Yeah, all those wow. cups, eh? Too early. Yeah, a lot of cups. Best Boy. technical goal. What was that, Simon? A lot of cups. A lot of cups. <laughs> I, I believe your teammate said this is not about well, cups. I don't know. He this has is a goal. Zero is a big number. Look, now we feel much better about Henrik Lundqvist. Yeah. That's I'll, for I'll sure. take the price over Lundqvist I'll any day. I'll take yes. the uh, Two cup final gold. appearance. As a coach, but not all time. You I'll guys take the, said it's Olympic gold medal, World Cup of Hockey uh -huh. champion, and he's just by far the best goalie currently in the NHL. How are you going to counter Carey Price? Let's go with uh, the name the trophy after him. So we'll go yeah. with George Vezina. George Vezina, Canadians, 1910 to 1925. He was so cool in Nets, they called him the Shakutami Cucumber, played in 328 consecutive games. Great pick. Gentlemen, for these next oh, two gosh. questions, we're upping the stakes. Instead of getting one draft pick for a correct answer, teams will now get two. Also, the winner of this round will get to force a trade on the other team, so they could take their least desirable player and swap it out for the other team's top pick. I'll read out a question that will require a team to place four items in the right order. Teams can choose to play the question or pass it. Whoever plays it has 25 seconds to talk it through and put the items in the correct order. Being right wins in the next pick. Team Red, they started with the coin toss. You now have the opportunity of answering this question first. I'm gonna read the question first. There are just 30 starting goaltending jobs available in the NHL. So many goaltenders find themselves drafted to teams that they will never suit up for. Put these goalies in chronological order of their NHL entry draft year, starting with the earliest. Before I read those options to you, do you wish to play or pass? Well, the draft started 
pretty late, so we're not going to get too many black and white. No, way. Guys. all right. Let's play it. Yeah, let's, let's play. play it. All right. Play it. All right. I love the confidence. Bad choice. Your options are Ryan Miller, Kirk McLean, Semyon Varlamov, Felix Potvin. Your timer starts now. Gentlemen, Patrick Waugh, MVP on the board. Any fond memories of Patrick Waugh as a goaltender? Oh, there's a couple of iconic ones. The wink in 93, Sandstrom coming coming in. Mm -hmm. just and That's classic. Classic. your favorite. And then, guys, uh, it's, was, all, it's all good. We're, we're done. done. Yeah. But I'm going to tell them my favorite Patrick Waugh moment, okay? He I'm was actually my favorite curious to hear player. Yeah. Favorite player as a kid. I was young, but I love the quote, the whole Jeremy Roenick thing. I can't really hear what Jeremy says because I got my two Stanley Cup yeah. rings yes. plugged in my ear. That was a classic. He burned him so bad. Jeremy thought he had him, but that All was right. a classic. All right, Agreed. gentlemen. Sorry for the interrupt. <laughs> We're going to see if uh, you answer that question correctly. We asked you to put these goalies in chronological order of their NHL entry draft year, starting with the earliest. You said Kirk McLean. Felix Potve, Ryan Miller, Semyon Varlamov. The correct answer is Kirk McLean, Felix Potve, Ryan Miller, and Semyon Varlamov. 84, 1990, 1999, and 2006. By the way, out of the four of them, uh, Varlamov was the uh, highest overall pick and number 23 overall, the only one to be picked in the first round. Team Red, well done. You guys get two picks. Let's pull up the draft pool. And you also get a swap. You oh, guys we're are definitely pretty. swapping. We're definitely we, swapping. We know what we're swapping. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Oh. I know who's coming. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> what are we? Two picks. You guys get two picks. Go ahead. Um, we're gonna go um, a semi-old school. Billy Smith. Billy Smith, notoriously aggressive in players in the crease. Vezina, 1982. Conn Smythe, 1983. Four Stanley Cups, 80 to 83. Uh, known for an outstanding playoff performance. One of the most intense goalies ever. Your second pick. Uh, and the second pick will be, uh, we're going for wins, Terry Sawchuk. Terry Sawchuk, good pick. Your counter picks, Team Blue. I'm thinking, what do you think about Tony? Yeah, you could, Tony and actually I, I think Bill Dernan too would be our two Let's picks. Let's do Tony and Bill. Tony Esposito. Those are our two picks. Tony Esposito, pick number one. And yep. your second pick? Bill Dernan. Bill Dernan. Well done. Bill Dernan, Canadians, 1944 to 1950. His name is often overlooked on the list like these, but he won the Vezina six out of the seven seasons he played two Stanley Cups. I think that counters uh, your hot check there. A little All bit. right. We'll see about that. But you did forget that they get to swap. Yeah. So, <sighs> Team Red, you get to swap. <laughs> well, since oh, you in, uh, enjoy uh, zero Stanley Cups and gold medals <laughs> so much, you can enjoy Henrik Lundqvist. So yep. you can uh, put him on your lineup. And we'll take... Voila. Uh, for the other we'll go, gold medalist, we'll, uh, we'll take. Uh, we'll still go with Bernie Perron. We yeah, like that. Yeah. We'll go with Bernie Perron. Wild card for wild card. Yeah. Well done. Well done. All right. That was our original plan. Gentlemen, real quick, how do you feel about that swap? I think it was disastrous on their part. <laughs> All right. We'll find out. We'll find out later. <laughs> Marty this, Broder. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I'm just saying, if Marty Broder is still on that list, then, well, Marty uh, Broder is the greatest product of a system in uh, goaltending history. So. <laughs> Bernie Perron. Don't Perra forget. Had... Don't forget, Marty Broder won a cup and they gave the Conn Smythe Trophy to the guy at the other end of the ice. That's how good he was. Gentlemen, for this next question, the winner once again gets two picks, and they get to go on the power play, meaning they get to send one of their opponents to the penalty box for the next round. All right? All right. You guys had the question last time. We're giving you the opportunity to answer this one. Okay. Team Blue, teams will pay a pretty penny to get the right goalie to keep him between the pipes, and for the most part, you get what you pay for. Rank these goalies in order of the highest paid to the lowest paid in the 2016-2017 season. Oof. Now, before I give you your options, do you wish to play or pass? I am going to play. Let's yeah, play. We're going to play that. Your options are Cam Ward, Henrik Lundqvist, Yaroslav Halak, Carey Price. Team Red, out of curiosity, would you lock up $10 million for a goaltender on your cap space? Depends on the cap space. I mean, the, the I, cap hit, I mean, the, the total, I should say. I, I, I think it depends on how much young talent you have. If you draft well and you got guys on the cheap and you got them in their rookie contracts and then in their second contracts, I think you're okay. But $10 million. $10 million is a lot of money. A lot of money. Yeah. All right, Team Blue, that's ready to rock and roll. Here we, we go. Are. We asked you to rank these goalies in order of highest paid to the lowest paid in the 2016-2017 season. You said Lunkfist, Price, Cam Ward, and Halak. That is not the correct answer. Oh. Oh. It was Yaroslav Halak wow. and then Cam Ward. So again, in order, Henrik Lundqvist, 8.5 million. Carey Price, 6.5 million. Yaroslav Halak, 4.5 million. Cam Ward, 3 million. And by the way, Lundqvist is getting even more than that because of his signing bonus. Uh, and in terms of cap space, the Dallas Stars lock up $10.5 million a year on goaltending with Lettinen and Niemi. So therefore, you did not get it correct. Oh. Team Red, you get the first two picks. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, I mean, 
that's just because it's, it's a cool name. Yeah. We'll go with the Turk Broda, but also has a fantastic goals against average in the uh, playoffs. A money that's goal tender, so we'll take him. Definitely, yeah. And uh, you want to go with somebody from color television, or you want to um, go still with the black and white? We need your yeah, pick? Yeah, I, I, I'd say, let, let, let's go with hey. Balfour. All right, Eddie Balfour. Eddie Balfour. Loved Eddie Balfour. 1990-91, what a great season that was. Mm-hmm. Team Blue, your two picks? Uh, so uh, you got Johnny Bauer for yeah. sure. Let's do Johnny and Grant Fear with the Stanley Cups. I agree. He was a bit of a yeah. yeah at times, five point oh goals against the average. Hey, four four cups. Four. Uh, I'm four pretty cups. sure we got was, one of those guys. Those we got are, one of those guys. Those are offensive uh, cups. Yeah. Just I'd on say. a side note, if I was you, I'd kind of keep it down a little bit because they can send you to the penalty box <laughs> if they want to. <laughs> Having said that, Team Red, you get the almost respect and utmost option to send over these guys to the penalty box or at least one of these players. Who will it be? We'll send Corey. Yeah. Corey, wait. Yeah. Unanimous? Yeah. Consensus? Corey Collard, you're taking two for the team. (laughs) Welcome to the speed drill. Teams will have to answer five rapid fire questions. Whoever gets more correct gets that sweet, sweet MVP pick. Teammates can work together on this one. Of course, one of our teams is shorthanded. The good news for him, though, is that in the case of a tie, he wins. Here's a question. A goalie mask can tell you a lot about the guy wearing it. For these goalies, it's a solid indication of what kinds of shows they were watching on Saturday morning. Gotta love Saturday morning cartoons, weren't they the best? Oh yeah. For each of these goalies, you'll have to tell us which cartoon character adorned their mask during an NHL season. Goalie number one, Peter Budai, Ned Flanders, or Krusty the Clown? Ned Flanders. James Reimer, Bender Rodriguez, or Optimus Prime? Did Patrick Laleem have Marvin the Martian or Daffy Duck? Peter Mrazek, Peter Griffin, or Fred Flintstone? And finally, Brian Elliott, Casey Jones, or Shredder on his mask? Okay, gentlemen, feeling confident? Yes. Right, you got two cracks at it? Yep. You only need a tie. Here's uh, fingers crossed. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Peter Budai. The options were Ned Flanders, Krusty the Clown. Team Blue, you said Ned Flanders. Team Red, you said Ned Flanders. The correct answer was Ned Flanders. Like Flanders, Budai is a devout Christian, by the way. James Reimer, Bender Rodriguez, or Optimus Prime? Team Blue, you said Optimus Ooh. Prime. And Team Red, you said Optimus Prime. The correct answer is... Optimus Prime. Reimer's actually a religious dude too. He's actually a very religious. At least one of his masks has featured Jesus. Yeah. Patrick Aleem, Marvin the Martian or Daffy Duck? Team Blue. Oof. Let's see what you, you have a little bit of hesitation there. No, no. No? You feel it's still about the fact that he answered the same. All right. Let's take a look. Patrick Aleem, Marvin the Martian, Daffy Duck. Team Blue, you said Marvin the Martian. Team Red, you said Marvin the Martian. The correct answer was Marvin the Martian. He had Marvin's eyes on at least four different masks in the NHL. Question four, Peter Mrazek, Peter Griffin, or Fred Flintstone? Ooh. Team Blue said Peter Griffin and Team Red when Fred Flintstone. The correct answer is Peter Griffin. Peter Griffin, Team Blue. In 2016, he had Will Ferrell's Buddy the Elf on his helmet. Oh, wow. And the last question, question number five, Brian Elliott, we offer Casey Jones or Shredder, Team Blue. You said Shredder. Team Red, you said Casey Jones. The correct answer was Casey Jones. Additionally, his mask is often features a moose because he is a skilled moose caller. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I just won. That. It doesn't matter. Yes, that's correct because it is a tie. Well done, Team Blue. You have earned yourself that sweet MVP pick. You know who that oh, is, of course? I do. It's not going to help you. Best goalie of all time, bar none. Patrick. Patrick Wah, that's correct. And you guys, of course, get Roberto Luongo as your last pick. We'll take the local boy. The draft pool is empty and the trivia is done. That's the end of game night. It's now time for the final countdown. (laughs) Team Blue, your penalty is now over. We'll welcome Corey back to the ice. Our teams will now rank their draft picks 10 to 1 to create their list of the top 10 greatest goalies. Gentlemen, you'll have 60 seconds and then we'll see whose list is the ultimate. Your 60 seconds starts now. Without question, NHL goalies are some of sports' quirkiest creatures. Only la creme de la crazy would sign up to have a six-ounce rubber grenade fired at them at 100 miles per hour. 
These odd individuals give rise to some even odder habits. There are too many to exhaustively list, but we proudly present the lineup's list of the top three eccentric pre-game goalie routines. Number three, braided Holby Holbyisms. These include pre-game ticks, hypnotic water bottle squirts, and, well, tap dancing in his crease. He claims these rituals help him concentrate, but they sure are distracting to us. Number two, Glenn Hall's pre-game vomiting. Mr. Goalie said that if he didn't make himself puke before a game, then he felt as if he hadn't given it his all. And that is some literally some sick dedication. Number one, Patrick was talking goalposts. Before every game, St. Patrick would chat with his metal buddies to coax them into helping him ward off any incoming pucks. And let's not forget the habit of leaping over the blue lines like they were cracks in the sidewalk. It wasn't just St. Patrick's on-ice dominance that made him the MVP of our draft pool. His quirks, feuds, and wit gave us so many eccentricities to admire. All right, gentlemen, yeah, I think he's Italian, he's from let's take a look at these lists. <laughs> Team Blue, we'll start with yours. Uh, talk to us a little bit about your list. Okay, well, we started with Patrick Roy. Can't really go wrong. Mm -hmm. Arguably the greatest goalie of all time. Well, arguably, Number arguably. two, we put in um, Marty Brodeur. Right. I noticed Carey Price number six. Wow. Really? Yeah. Wow. Look at it this way. When he does win a cup, and he will win a cup, uh -huh. Uh -huh. he has a cup sure. and every other award basically imaginable. That's great. So... And a list that features Henrik Lundqvist is number 10. Yeah, I'm gonna take wow, Billy Smith exactly. to plug in my two ears and my two nostrils. <laughs> All right, there's a lot of trash talk coming from wow. Team Red. Let's take a look at your list. Let's pull up your list. Uh, well, Dominic Hasek is uh, the best goalie to ever play this game. That's why if you can run up all these goalies, how many of these guys have heart trophies? He's got multiple heart trophies, which means the best player in the league, not just the no, best No, it meant goalie. he's the best player at that time yeah, in the whatever. league. Yeah, whatever. he's done that a few I'm times. I'm sure he would have suffered in front of those Colorado teams if he played for them. He'd rattle off five guys from that Sabres team in the playoffs. Well, not, yeah, not, it was not an a AHL team, yeah. basically. Terry Sawchuk is number six. That is a stacked list. Yeah, stacked. that's stacked. Uh, top five wins at all time. And we're, and we're comfortable with our Ed Belfort yeah, so Better than Henrik Lundqvist or Carey Price. On our list. That's yeah. right. Oh, you got a top five in all-time list. Imagine that. Yeah. Number one and two. Gentlemen, there can only be one list. And I got to give it to you. Team Red, Hasek, Plant, and Vezin as your top three. There's no beating that. I'm giving you guys the best oh. list. Well done. Oh. Yes. Gentlemen, you were, you were awesome. Uh, thanks for great energy up on the show. Team Blue, Team Red, you guys did great. Uh, Corey, thanks for everything. Uh, high energy kind of guy. I love it. Unfortunately, you were a victim of the penalty box. Talk to us a little bit about where people can catch you or some of the things you're working on. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at CoreyCaller24. I tweet about hockey all the time. Just looking forward to continuing to watch more hockey. Great. Matt Campbell? Watch Mojo, got a lot of sick projects, crazy projects coming yes, up, talk to us a little yes. bit about that. I mean, always keep an eye out for the music videos, that's what I do, I host the music videos we do, and a new show recently launched called The Cinephiles. I'm also a big film fan, nice. also hockey fan, but film too, so check that out. Usually airs every Friday, so um, yeah, well done, be sure to check Blue. it out. Well done. Team Red, Ivan, a lot of stuff coming up. Uh, congratulations on all your success as an actor. I really do wish you a lot of uh, prosperity. You've worked so hard to get what you have. Uh, what's coming up next? Yeah, yeah, it's been a pretty pretty long career so far. Um, actually, I have coming up a couple of video games, but due to some uh, NDA agreements. Is this for uh, a motion I, capture I or voice? Uh, both, yeah. Both, wow, so, okay, cool. Um, so those will be coming out soon, but I can't discuss which one. So, uh, so tease. buy them all. Yeah. <laughs> buy them all. <laughs> Without giving the names. But Simon Salikas, thanks, man. You're a great sport. Appreciate uh, it, man. Congratulations on all your success. We catch you on the radio. Um, where can people follow you on Twitter? Simon TSN 690 And believe me, he's got something to say. Hey, I'm not the all-knowing hockey god. Tell us in the comments which team you thought had the better list. We'll see you next time right here on The Lineup. Thanks for watching The Lineup. For more episodes, click here and subscribe for more great content published daily.